To figure out how many atoms there are in Al2SO4-3, that's aluminum sulfate, let's take a look at a few different things here. First of all, this is what aluminum sulfate looks like. It's this white kind of crystalline structure. So this is the aluminum sulfate that we're talking about. It's an ionic compound. The way I usually think about this is kind of like a mathematical equation. I say I have two aluminum plus, I put my parentheses, I have one sulfur plus four oxygen atoms, and then I'll multiply that by three, and that'll give me a number. So it's basically two plus five times three, or two plus 15, 17 total atoms in Al2SO43, this aluminum sulfate. There's another way you can think about it as well. And to help you visualize kind of how these parentheses work here, let's take a look at this here. So you can think of aluminum sulfate as being made up of these two aluminum atoms, and then three of these sulfate ions here, this SO4, here's one, two, three. So you have five atoms in each of these, three times the five gave us the 15, we added the two, we got 17 atoms in Al2, SO4, three. Now, if you were asked how many atoms are in one mole of aluminum sulfate, then you would get your 17 atoms, just like we did, and multiply that by Avogadro's number. And that would give you, and that would give you 102.3 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, or you could take it and have 1.023 times 10 to the 21st. Either way, so that's how you figure out the number of atoms in aluminum sulfate. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.